All right, y'all, so I'm trying to get a good angle, a good video, like, I'm trying. But, like, I don't know what's going on with my camera, but every time I wear, like, bright clothes or something, like, it just... Okay, there we go. Y'all, can we just take the time out to appreciate everything I had to go through to film this video for y'all? Like, I had to make my bed because my bed wasn't made. And... My bed is really high, so it's a struggle for me to get in my bed. I don't have a stool. I need to get a stool. So, I had to make my bed for y'all. I done lit a candle, got me a little drink ready or whatever. This is just some peach orchard juice. And then, I try to do my hair for y'all. I try to do my makeup. It's been like October. It's been like three months since I did my makeup. Just for me to not have a beauty blender, I didn't have what I needed to actually do my makeup for it to turn out good. So y'all, if I look like a ghost or it just look a hot ass mess, just please disregard that. Disregard, discard, discard, all right? Then I almost passed out while doing my makeup because my shirt was too tight. So I had to take my shirt off, found a new shirt to wear. So yeah, this is, this is what it is, you know? We're not gonna make no excuses. We're just gonna get through it. I almost was this close to saying, you know what? I'm out of breath. My makeup not even turning out right. Forget it. But it's 2022. I'm not trying to have that attitude. I'm not trying to have that mindset. I'm just trying to do what I gotta do, okay? So, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a pregnancy Q&A for you guys. I am 24 weeks pregnant i don't know how many months that is but here's the bump i can't really see hold on <laughs> 24 weeks pregnant yeah so without further ado Let's get into this video. <coughs> Y'all, and I'm on top of that. Um, I have a cold. I got tested for COVID, but the results came back negative, thank God. But if it ain't COVID, then what the hell is it? Because I don't feel good. Like, I'm doing a lot better than I was a couple days ago. Like, my body was sore. I couldn't even move my head. I was feeling lightheaded. Like, I couldn't eat. I was throwing up. I had a fever, so I'm doing a lot better. Now I just got a cough and like a runny nose. But anyways, yeah, on my Instagram, I put up, asked me some questions. I'm filming a pregnancy Q&A and I got a couple people that asked me some questions on Instagram. So, so yeah, that's where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be answering questions from right there. All right. <laughs> Y'all like, Let's just start by saying, first of all, I thought I was untouchable, okay? I never thought, like, I always wanted kids. I always wanted, like, three kids. I just didn't know when I was going to start. Like, I planned on probably starting when I was, like, 27, 28. I'm 23 years old. Um, I'm the... I'm 23 years old right now, but next month I'll be turning 24. So, by the time I have my baby, I'm going to be 24. So, it's not that bad, but, you know, I planned on waiting until I was, like, you know, probably, like, three or four more years, but whatever. I guess three, four more years, I'll probably be on number two by then. Hopefully, if the world still up and running. But, yeah, I thought I was untouchable. Everybody was like, oh, you gonna be the bougie, rich aunt, da da da, -da. Now, I'm gonna be the bougie, rich auntie with one child. Who said you can't do it with a kid? Oh, okay. Anyways, but your boy done got your girl, okay? Let's just say, let's just say this. I got got, okay? <laughs> but anyways, I'm not mad. I'm happy. Okay, the first question is, how many months pregnant are you? I just answered that. I'm 24 weeks. I don't know how many months that is. Four, eight. I'm six months pregnant? Oh my god. Y'all, I'm six months. 
that mean I got three months left. Like, oh my gosh, that just flew by. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy how fast it just went by like that. How did your family react to the news? Oh, y'all. <laughs> so listen, okay. Good and bad, okay. So I was expecting my mom to be disappointed for some reason. Even though she want grandkids, like I always know she wanted grandkids and stuff like that. Um, she had me when she was 21. So I knew she wouldn't be mad, but I was still scared to tell her. Like I'm gonna insert a clip of how she reacted when I told my mom. So make sure y'all watch that clip. You want me to, um, who else go to jail? But I think somebody at Court Street goes, it's frozen now. It was in her dress? I guess. Anyways, when I told her, I don't know why I was scared. Like, I felt like I felt like I was gonna disappoint her for some reason. Like, I don't know. So, I just didn't want her to be disappointed in me. Like, I'm not married yet. Um, I don't own my own home yet. Like, nobody is perfect. There's no, like, perfect way your life can turn out. Like, you can, you can predict, oh, married, living the fancy life, this, that, that, successful, all that. You can do that, but sometimes life has its own way of turning out. God got his own plans for your life, so... Yeah, I told her that's how she reacted. She cried a little bit, but it was tears of joy. She was happy. So that was a whew. Because, like, y'all, my mom is, like, my everything. Like, without her support, I don't know where I would be. Like, I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful for my mom's support because she's literally, she's literally my everything. Um everybody was happy pretty much except for except for like my dad's side like my dad he even told me like oh i'm so proud of you you don't got kids yet you got your own business you're doing good for yourself like even if you was to have kids i wouldn't be mad because you're 23 like you passed me okay so as soon as i tell you i'm pregnant got an attitude it's all right though it's expected because i guess i'm his baby girl so he can't even he like damn like I can't believe like that's what my baby girl was doing like my baby girl is pregnant like oh my gosh somebody touched my so now let me stop <laughs> but yeah my dad he wasn't really too happy but my mom she was happy and my mom's opinion um matters more to me because that's me and her are like this so if y'all know me y'all know me and my mom's like this so I'm so happy I got her support. You know the sex of the baby. Yes. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip for y'all too. Seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, two, two, one. Oh my God, what? Uh -oh. It's a girl. It's a girl. Right now. It's a pink. It's a pink. Oh, that's uh, right now. That's there, but it's gonna be a blue. Let that blue out. Yeah. It's a boy. <laughs> Your girl's having a boy. And that's why I got this blue on too, y'all. Like, even though y'all can't see it. Cause my camera so it wanna be so bright or something like that. Like I don't know what it is. But I need to invest in a better quality camera or something. Do you want more children? I just said this. I was too busy talking. Too busy talking. I should have just answered the questions first. But yes, I do want more children. It's just 
the world we live in today is really scary like really scary like this covid stuff and just everything that's going on it scares me and that's sad because you want to be you want to be able to expand your family you want to be able to you know you don't want to have to worry about the world what's going on and the sicknesses and can't travel here and can't do this can't do that because that's all you want to ever do in life is travel and live a happy lifestyle but yeah i want a total of three children i want two boys and i want one girl so right now i got my first boy number two might be a girl but we're not gonna worry about number two right now she she probably gonna come in like four or five years so what's been your biggest craving so my biggest craving been honeycombs like i don't crave any weird food cravings but just honeycombs like if i don't have honeycombs like it's literally the end of the world i can't eat no other cereal like i need honeycombs with exactly two ice cubes in it and it do me justice like it hit every time oh my gosh in the beginning it used to be like honeycombs and then at four o'clock in the morning specifically pickles just pickles at four o'clock in the morning and then honeycombs at whatever time of the day and i still crave honeycombs like i'm gonna actually go eat me a bowl as soon as i get done with this video what's been the best part of being pregnant oh <laughs> yo like i'm really pregnant <laughs> that's crazy i'm even doing a video like this right now what's been the best part about being pregnant the ultrasounds going to my appointments and then seeing like him grow from like a freaking reptile he looked at like a little tadpole he had like a tail and everything and then all the way to now it's like a whole head with legs he's kicking he's doing all of that so being able to see him like play inside the womb and kick and do all of that stuff is just like wow i think that's been the best part and then my belly too like i like my belly but um yeah the best part about pregnancy is like yeah watching what the hell i don't got some makeup on my shirt already how The best part has been watching him grow and play in the womb. Also, like, what else? Watching me grow as well as a person. Like, I'm starting to be more in tune with, with just life. Life, period. Like, I'm looking at the beautiful things of life. It's making me realize, like, wow, I'm really creating a human right now. Like my body is creating a human like and i'm it's my body is changing every day and it's just crazy what is amazing it's a blessing what women can like experience and go through and i am just blessed like what's been the worst part of being pregnant i'm not gonna lie the worst part for me been my acne like my acne is horrible and in the beginning i used to be like nope like i don't want to film i don't want to go outside i don't want to be seen i felt like the ugliest thing ever and i'm starting to feel beautiful i'm starting to just accept it and let my body go through what it's going through instead of hiding it whoever got something to say they just gonna have to talk and then like the throwing up and the feeling sick like i just i hate throwing up in my first trimester i only threw up once but i couldn't i literally couldn't eat anything like I couldn't eat i didn't have the energy all i did was sleep like i felt like i was going downhill i felt like i was damn near getting depressed i'm not even gonna lie like i just i wanted energy so bad and i'm just like how can i get the energy but now that i'm in my second trimester i got my energy but i have thrown up like two times i don't know if it's because of what i ate but yeah sometimes he just don't like things so do you have any names picked out no i mean i got one name in mind but i'm trying to get my boyfriend to be on the same page as me we'll see anywho 
Who will be with you during labor? I want my mom and my boyfriend to be with me. So hopefully they can let both of them in the room because this is my mom's first grandkid as well. So I want her to be able to see her daughter bring her first grandbaby into this world. Like, and then this is my boyfriend's first kid as well. So he obviously gotta be in the room, he's the daddy. So hopefully I can have both of them in the room. If not due to COVID, then it's just gonna be the child's father and I'll just have to record it for my mom to see. But she'll definitely still be at the hospital. Do you have a birth plan? No. I'm gonna just go to the hospital. <laughs> when I start feeling like he's about to come to the hospital, I go. I was thinking, I used to always say, oh, I wanna do a natural birth and be in a tub at home. Yeah, I'm not doing all that. I'm not. Take me to the hospital. We'll, tr we'll probably try again, baby number two. Will you record your labor? Yes, I hope so. My camera be dying, running out of storage, all types of stuff. Like when I'm, if I'm going through pain and contractions and stuff, I'm not gonna have time to keep playing with this damn camera, okay? So I'm gonna try to catch as much as I can for y'all. Natural or medicated birth? I wanna try natural birth, of course. So I'm gonna try natural. Are you scared about labor? I'm mainly scared about the contractions. Like everybody say the contractions hurt. So I'm just scared to go through that pain. Like my cramps, I can barely handle my cramps. So they say like the contractions is period cramps on 10. It's like, I'm not, I don't wanna go through no type of pain. And then sometimes people say they get the epidural, but the epidural don't work sometimes for them. So you just never know. Like you hear all these bad stories and then you hear a couple good stories. So you don't know if yours is gonna be good or bad. You just gotta see for yourself. So. Oh, God bless me. God help me. What do you most look forward to after pregnancy? My baby. Uh, hello, my baby. I'm looking forward to see how he's gonna look, how he's gonna act, what he's gonna do, like, taking care of him. Like, I know I'm gonna do a damn good job, but it's like, I wonder how he's gonna be as a person. Like, he's still gonna be like, his, it don't matter how I raise him, he's still gonna have his own little touch in there, be his own little person. Like, I can't wait to see how me and my boyfriend Jeans come together. Like, hopefully he looks like me. Hopefully he got my dimples. Um, yeah, but other than that, I'm excited to see. <laughs> Will you breastfeed? Yes. I haven't gained, no way. I only gained five pounds during this whole pregnancy, y'all. And I think it's just all stomach, honestly. I don't, I haven't swelled up. Nose not swollen. I don't have the pregnancy nose feet not swollen like i literally only gained five pounds and i think it's just all in the belly honestly but yes i will breastfeed do you plan to work or be a stay-at-home mom honestly i want i want to be a stay-at-home mom but where i'm at financially me and my boyfriend um, I don't think it's gonna work like that because one thing about me, I like to be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. And I can't, me, the baby, and my boyfriend all just living off of his income. Like that's, that's not gonna be enough for me. I need to at least have multiple, multiple, multiple streams of income. So just in case, you know, something cake just in case something happened it's an emergency i could hold it down too i can pull i could pull some weight too you know what i mean so i don't want to be one of those stay-at-home moms that's hey babe like can i get some money to get my nails done today or can i get some money to... and then just sitting waiting for a handout like sounds good sounds nice but nah i'd rather if i was rich already you know i could be a stay-at-home mom if i had you know, passive incomes, you know, money coming in in my sleep, yes, I'd be a stay-at-home mom, but I haven't reached that point yet, so 
I'm gonna work hopefully from home hopefully I can work from home because I don't want to go out you know in the, the sick world and then come back bringing the germs to my baby so I'm gonna definitely be at home on maternity maternity leave for a couple of months but after that I do want to do like a work from home job if I can will you make your own baby food yes yes i do want to make baby food i've been watching this girl on tiktok i forgot her name but she be using all the like healthy stuff and the baby stuff. i like the way she do things okay so i'm basically i'll be taking a lot of things from her tips and tricks from her do you have any nursery ideas slash themes yes i have um i want to do like a gray and blue theme like elephant theme nursery friend so yeah do you think your boyfriend is going to cry uh, excuse me he better he better cry that's all I know I be seeing like I watched Riss and Quan um YouTube when she did her birth vlog and Quan like when he seen his baby boy like he just fell in love they locked he locked eyes with his baby he cried like he was just so in love like i want that yes i want that i want us all crying okay if he's just sitting here looking stupid like i'm gonna be mad as hell like get get out like is you not feeling what i feel because i know i'm gonna cry so you better cry too this better be a emotional as beautiful as experience so yes i want him to cry who do you think will pass out in a deliver delivery room? Your mom or boyfriend? My mom definitely not gonna pass out because she been there, done that. <laughs> Wait, then again, she might cause she dramatic. And my mom is the type that if she in a room and they telling me to push, like push, and I'm like, mm, my mom is the type that will watch me and will try to like push for me. Like she'll sit there like, and she'll probably damn near pass out from trying to push a baby that she's not even like pregnant with. So, then again, I don't know. My boyfriend, if he sees the baby come out of my vagina, he might pass out. I don't know. But I don't think he gonna be looking at that part anyway. So, I don't know. Are there certain things you're expecting with delivery? Yes. I'm expecting pain. And I don't want to expect pain. But I'm expecting pain. I'm trying to prepare myself mentally just in case it's really that painful. Like, I'm trying to mentally prepare myself. Like, there's no going back. There's really no going back. This baby got to come out one way or the other. What's some of the things you used to do easy but are hard now being almost six months? Well, I am six months now, but things that used to be easy that is hard now. Picking up anything on the floor. Getting in my bed. That's why I said it earlier in the video that y'all don't know what I went through for y'all to make this video because this bed, my bed is high. I have to get a stool ASAP. Getting in this bed is a struggle, let alone trying to make it, okay? Getting in my bed, picking up anything, um, shaving. I can't shave. I go get waxed. I do like to shave my legs, but that's it, that's been a little hard. Um, also getting dressed when I put on like pants and stuff socks like it's hard like my belly just be in the way like I know I'm not that big but like I be out of breath like okay how has your daily routine changed since you've been pregnant my daily routine Has your daily routine changed since you've been pregnant? I mean, it hasn't really. I feel like it changed for the better because before I used to like, if I was hungry, I used to be like, oh, it could wait. Like, you know, I'm gonna make myself something to eat in a second and then I could go on about my business and then I'll end up forgetting to eat. And the next thing you know, I will finally eat. Now that I'm pregnant, it's like, you can't wait no you gotta eat because if you don't eat that this baby is gonna remind you quickly that it's time to eat okay 
because when I don't eat, I feel like I'm gonna die on sight. So I go and eat right away. So now I eat a whole bunch. I eat a lot daily. I can't even say every two hours. I would get done eating and start plotting on the next meal. Like what I'm about to eat now. I need a snack. I need a drink. I need this. Like I'm always going, eating, eating, eating. So it changed for the better. Nothing much has really changed on a daily for me since I've been pregnant. Besides, I can't have my days off to myself now. When I'm off a day from work, you know, they tend to appointments, doctor appointments, visits, this, that. So that's changed, but it's okay. Do you have any advice for people who don't have kids and would want kids? Um, let me have a drink to that. Ooh, my leg is so bad. Mm. Advice to the people who want kids that don't have kids is like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. One thing I'm tired of hearing is somebody telling me all the bad. The minute they find out I'm, they see I'm pregnant or something like that, they'll automatically, oh, when you have labor, pain this and pain, I don't wanna hear that. Like, let me enjoy my pregnancy, one. Two, I don't like when people say, oh, like if you don't have kids right now, don't have kids because it's a lot and da 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 It is a lot. Mentally, my camera need to stop stopping. But anyway, it's a lot mentally and physically, but we're women and our body, our body is built for this and God is not gonna give you anything you cannot handle. Like, I feel like people need to just be positive about everything that life throws at them, okay? This is not, I'm not gonna sit here even though I, I didn't want to have a kid just yet, I'm not gonna sit here and act like now my life is gonna go downhill because I'm pregnant. Cause one, I have to own up to my responsibility. I had a I had a part in creating this child, okay? So even though he wasn't planned planned, he still was somewhat planned because I didn't try to prevent it either. Like, oh, it's okay, I'm gonna own up to my responsibility. I'm gonna be a a great ass mother my son is a legend already he's the goat already in the making and he's gonna be good and i'm gonna be good i just don't like when people throw out the the negatives like oh postpartum after that you're gonna experience postpartum and this and this and that no it's all a mental thing i feel like yeah some people do experience postpartum and i'd bless those who do experience postpartum and I feel like it is easy to like get depressed when you're pregnant but that's why I try to stay positive that's why I don't like to listen to all the negative that people have to say like oh wait to have kids wait till you're successful wait till this wait till that yeah definitely have a plan definitely money plan money wise support system like you need all of that you're gonna need all of that but if you don't have it, like, it's going to be okay. People make it seem like you're not going to be okay if you don't have any of that. You're going to be okay with a positive mindset. You're going to get through anything. I don't know if everybody out there believe in God. I believe in God. But with God on my side and a, my mother, I got her support. I got the baby father's support. Like, I'm going to be fine. I got a positive mindset. I'm strong-minded. So I know I'm going to be fine. And I don't like to let any negatives get to me. So the advice I have for somebody who wants kids, I'm going to say, you know, make sure you do have support. Make sure you have support, not even just financially, like mentally, you would need that support. Like having a supportive partner or parent is really, it makes a huge difference. Like. I'm grateful for the support system that I have. And I pray, I pray to God that I do not experience postpartum because I do hear a lot of stories about that. And I've seen a lot of stories of some mothers like leaving their kids behind because it's just it just got that overwhelming for them. I pray I don't ever reach that point because you just, you never know. Like I said, I'm gonna remain positive. I'm gonna try to stay positive and everything. But other than that, 
that's all I really have to say. All right, so that was it for all the questions that was on Instagram. That was all the questions that I was asked. So I don't, I can't think of anything that I might have missed because I don't know. I'm new here. I'm new here, y'all. So bear with me and i can't wait to continue to bring y'all on this pregnancy journey with me i was gonna do a beautiful beautiful big baby shower but all these COVID cases is rising back up and it's just not clicking steven like i'm not about to spend all this money on a baby shower just for people to get sick just for me to get sick if anything like i'm carrying a child here i cannot afford to be sick like i'm already sick right now so i said you know what shut it down i don't even want a baby shower no more but what we are gonna do is a drive-by baby shower so i've seen a lot of cute ideas on youtube and pinterest for the drive-by baby shower so stay tuned for that stay tuned for the maternity shoe y'all like i'm excited Baby boy is gonna be here. I do plan on recording like my labor and delivery, but I don't plan on showing my kid as of right now. So I know I'm doing YouTube and everything, but this is YouTube is something I signed up for. My boyfriend, he doesn't really care to film or like be on camera and stuff like that. So I let him have his life but this YouTube is the life I chose for myself. So I don't want to put my baby out there and then people be feeling entitled to their uh, opinions, which is okay. Like you can be entitled to your opinion, but not when it comes to my child, okay? I don't even play like that. Ain't nobody about to tell me, oh, do this as a mother and do that. Do, 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 when I didn't ask for your advice. If I don't ask for your advice, don't tell me. Thanks, but no thanks when it comes to my child. So people be having too many opinions when it comes to kids and i'm just not gonna play like that so i don't plan on um i don't plan on putting my baby on camera or social media i might change my mind later on in life who knows but i'm letting y'all know right now i don't plan on showing my kids so i don't care if people be like oh she's acting like a celebrity no it's not acting like a celebrity it's your life it's your kid if you don't want to show your kid you don't have to show your kid it's simple like i see why a lot of celebrities hide their kids like i see why people talk a lot of shit okay you're not about to talk shit about mine okay so yes that is it for this video i hope y'all like this video make sure y'all comment some more video suggestions if you like this video give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe push that notification bell because i'm posting every tuesdays and saturdays for y'all and i'm gonna try to remain consistent mm, let me show y'all baby boy one more time before we leave <clears throat> this is the most y'all gonna see him Whew. yes all right y'all Thank y'all so much for watching this video and I'm out. I'll see y'all in the next video. Mm -hmm.